This is for experiment four, the series circuit. Uh, in this experiment, we need three resistors. 100 ohm resistor, we need one. A 200 ohm resistor and one 330 ohm resistor. So the first step, just like always, we need to measure the actual value for each resistor. So let's do it. First, turn on the meter and then change this to the ohm meter mode. So switch this to the ohm meter mode. And then just take one resistor, measure the resistance. So the experimental value for this 100 ohm resistor is 102 ohm. So write it down. So that is 102 ohm. Now uh, disconnect that resistor, put it back, and then measure the second one. For the 220 ohm resistor, its value, the measured value, the actual value is 216.0 ohm. There. And the next, we're going to measure the last one, the third resistor. The expected value is 330 ohm, but the actual number the actual value is 327.4 ohm. It is here. 327.4 ohm. And then next, we need to find the total resistance if we put them in series, if we combine them. So let's do it. Uh, we just get the expected value. So adding them up, let me disconnect that resistor, put this back, and then put the cable to the side. So once I add them up, this equal to 650 ohm. However, here we have to do it differently. We should not add them up. This destroys the goal for, for finding the RT, the measured RT. Instead, we need to connect these resistors in series and then measure the total resistance. There we go. I have finished building this circuit using those three resistors. The three resistors are connected in series. This is the 100 ohm resistor. 220 ohm resistor and uh, this is the 330 ohm resistor. They connected in series. And then this side connect to the red wire, later connects to the positive terminal of the source. This connects to the ground of the source. Before connecting this to the source, we need to measure the total resistance. So the meter is in the ohm meter mode. Grab these probes and then connect that to both ends of the entire circuit. Since resistors has no polarity, we can either connect or measure this way or swapping these probes. So I measure both ends of the circuit. However, it's hard to connect. So I just put the hook over there. and I put this hook over here. Now the reading is all three resistors combined that resistance. Right? It's the resistance of this overall system. Uh, a system has three resistors that connect in series. That value is 638.7 ohm. So let me put this there and I write it down is 
8.6 ohm. Uh, if you compare that to there, they are not the same. They are quite similar. I say good practice. We should also measure the percentage error between the resistor's real value, the actual value, and the value is supposed to be the expected value for all resistors just to see how well this resistor was made okay so now we should move to the next step so here i disconnect those probes now we need to connect the circuit to the source so i put this wire here this gonna connect to the positive terminal of the 9 volt battery and then this connect to the negative terminal of the 9 volt battery okay before I make the connection I would like to measure the source voltage change here to DC volt and then let's measure its voltage so the red probe to the red wire the black probe connect to the black wire. The voltage of this 9 volt battery is 8.84 volt. So I would mark it somewhere on the paper, such as here. Vs equals to 8.84 volt. There. Okay, so next we need to measure the current at different points. This is point A, point B, point C, and the point D. We should measure the current at different points. And then we need to verify the current should be same at anywhere if we get a series circuit. So first disconnect the source. Put the source over here. I connect the source to the circuit. Now the source provides the voltage to the system. Next, we need to measure current. So first, I would switch this to the DC current mode. Unplug this cable or this plug, put it there so we can measure current. Next, uh, we can begin at point A. I can disconnect that resistor's one leg, such as here, or disconnect that wire. Make sure disconnect that. Make an open circuit. Put the red probe to the place the wire or the circuit has higher voltage. Uh, the current entering entering to the pin go through here uh, which is this red wire current the electric current will enter right coming from this wire and enter here go all the way to the meter and then come out from the black cable and then will exit through there to the rest of the circuit here so the current is 0 0.014 amps, which is 14 milliamps. So I would write it down, 14 milliamps. So here, there we go. Now, so disconnect these connectors. Put the wire back to reform that closed circuit. There. Next, I'm going to open this part of the circuit. The circuit at point B. And uh, take the probes, measure or connect that here, 
connect this to the other side of the circuit and then we read the current. The current is 0.014 amps. So write this down. At point B, we measure the same current, 14 milliamps. Now disconnect those probes from the circuit. Put this resistor back to form that closed circuit. And now we're gonna open the circuit at point C. Connect that to here. Current enter the probe and then leave that probe and then flow through the remaining circuit. Still the same, 0 0.014, that is 14 milliamps. Unplug here, close that circuit by plugging the resistor here. And now I'm going to unplug that resistor. This is at point D. So put that here and put this there. This might be hard to connect, so I'm going to use a jumper. There. 0 0.014. Zero point zero one four, which is fourteen milliamps. So all these measurements, right, for measuring current at any points or any point A, B, C, D, we all get the same current. So that proof or validate current is uniform, is constant in a series circuit. So the average value for these four fourteen milliamps currents should be 14 milliamps, right? We add them up divided by four, uh, that is 14 milliamps. So there, computed current, or I'm sorry, uh, this one, the measured uh, average current is 14 milliamps. So write it there, here. Later, we need to compute the current using Ohm's law and then compare these two values, find the percentage errors between them. But now we can move to here. So this step, we need to measure V1, V2, V3, the voltage across each resistor. So let's put that here. Now the circuit is back. It's a closed circuit again. We need to measure the voltages. So first, unplug this, put it there for measuring voltage. Switch the knob to DC voltage mode like this for measuring voltage. Now take the two probes, connect to the first resistor to get its voltage called V1. This is the measured resistor one's voltage. V1. So put that here, put this there. The reading is 1.369, so write it down. One point three six nine volt. Now let's move to the second resistor. Unplug here, and then put it there. The reading is 2.873 volt. So 2.873 volt. That's the voltage drop on resistor R2, the 220 ohm resistor. Now replicate, so 
do the same thing but for resistor 3, R3. That is 4.411 volt. Here. The next step, we just need to calculate the theoretical or expected V1, V2, V3. Put those calculations, the calculated values over here, and then find the corresponding percentage errors. So that's the end of experiment four.